What's up, Stringlings? We are back. Brand new year, brand new space. It's 2022, and today we're going to be taking a look at Voice of Bachiprot, Killing in the Name of, live from France. Let's check it out. So if you'll recall, VOB is probably one of my favorite new bands from 2021. Uh, I love everything about them. This is, um, I don't know if this is important, it's an all-female group. Uh, it doesn't matter. They rock, right? Uh, solid band, solid sound, solid everything. Uh, let's just get right into it. So this was really uh, uh, very exciting because they were on a European tour uh, late in the year. And I think um, a lot of people were very, very excited to see VOB uh, hit the European mainland. Uh, I would love to see them on a North American tour. I think they would do huge. Uh, they're, just, they're just such a good band. Uh, and here they're doing a cover, which is great, because I think there's a lot about their sound that's very similar to um, Rage Against the Machine. So let's check it out. First, just make sure that we're not going to hot rod things too much here. But um, yeah, let's give it a listen. <laughs> That you, you know there's been a lot of anticipation, right? I mean, look at the crowd. We're still in the middle of a global pandemic of some kind, uh, to some level. And the fact that this hit TV in France is awesome. So good for them. I mean, this, this is one of the great anthem songs of all time, right? Uh, I mean, it's it's up there with um, We Will Rock You, uh, School's Out, <clears throat> and, uh, and they're just, right away, they're crushing it. You know they, you know they love this song. Uh, they, they had a phone conference with um, Tom Morello uh, that they, they uh, recorded, and, and I think that's very cool. I, I'd love to see these guys get together, actually. Um, with Rage and actually see, you know, some kind of a collab. But uh, great intro, great sound. These they love being on stage, and I love that. There's nothing better than a band that just loves being on stage, entertaining a crowd. Right? Keep on. <laughs> So I love this. I'm going to take this back a little bit. Uh, this is a really great thing that um, really experienced bands have trouble remembering. Uh, let the audience uh, participate in the song. This, again, it's a great rock anthem. Uh, and uh, they're really, they step back on the do what they told you part, right? Uh, and let the audience take over. That's the best part of a show. Right, when the audience just sings along it might not be their song but they are owning every note of this song and they are directing the crowd this is a band that knows how to put on a show 
Uh, I don't care how old they are. I don't care what gender they are. I don't care what religion they are. I don't care what their beliefs are. This is a good show, and I want to see this show live. <laughs> that um, they've given some speeches as well uh, on stage uh, we might look at some of those later on where they address uh, some of the, the restrictions uh, the whole point of God allow me please to play music is is this idea that because they're girls or because they're Muslim they're not supposed to play a certain way or supposed to rock a certain way and I always go back to you know School of Rock with Jack Black right and the goal of rock and roll is to put on an epic show um and they are nailing all of this and they're just owning a, it's it's raw it's dirty there's only three of them on stage and it sounds like a massive uh wall of sound right so everything about this is is amazing i'm just gonna let this play out i don't think i'm gonna have to make a lot more comments on this but let's let's run it out here <laughs> So that's that's brave uh first of all this bass player is just mental um and i i love that she's taking kind of her own flavor uh on the guitar solo as well um we're not messing around but uh just really kind of owning what it is it's not overly technical but you know what uh, black sabbath kiss acdc you know put on shows like this without necessarily shredding and i think it has to serve the song and i think in this case it's it's just raw it's hard it's heavy and it does exactly what it's supposed to do and now she's going into the part that is most likely to get in, you in trouble with your parents in you know the mid 90s or the late 90s so i think um we're in really really good rock and roll legend territory here i'm going to back up a little bit um to the bass solo i just want to hear that again because I think it's brilliant that they 
they give the bass player a solo. Um, nobody does that anymore, right? And it really, it's a thing. So. I'm talking bass and, and guitars here, but that I mean, this drummer that they have is just she is just holding that, at, you know, in the pocket, but solid groove and all the notes she needs. It's you cannot get better than this band just in terms of just putting on a really good rock performance. Uh, and it's not it's not a difficult song. The problem with this song is that because it's not difficult. It's easy to play kind of meh, right? And they are like, they're driving this concert exactly the way they want it to go. It's phenomenal. Happening. That was playing out. Cool. Right. <clears throat> so that's VOB live in Rennes, France, performing. Killing in the name of, uh, absolutely dominating that performance, absolutely dominating um, heavy rock right now. Uh, we need this generation, I think, really to kind of break free of sanitized rock. Uh, this was so raw and so powerful. Uh, I almost got a tear in my eye when she started the, the last shout chorus there. Um, because it's super, super powerful, and I think it's super, just amazing performance. Um, yeah, the, these guys, they love to play live. You can tell that they love to play live. Uh, the audience is eating out of the palm of their hands. They're they're directing it. They're giving the audience the shout chorus. Um, you know, was it pitch perfect? I don't think anybody noticed <laughs> if they weren't. Uh, you know, yeah, it's... I mean, it's a rap song, right? There's not not any notes to sing, but uh, was you know everything on tune? Was everything in exact time? Who cares, right? The whole thing was just bang, 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 and uh, just I don't really have a lot to say. There's nothing to pick apart about the performance. Um, there's nothing to pick apart about the band. We already know from their studio work, um, you know that the vocals are amazing 
the musicianship is really it's top notch there's there's no complaint at all in terms of the musicianship and overall we should just be really proud that that we live in a world now where we can have this kind of cultural interaction where you know now up until you know early last year i had no idea that there was uh, a guitar scene um, in indonesia let alone a metal scene a uh, heavy rock punk metal scene um, there's a couple of other bands from indonesia that i'm going to be taking a look at but i really wanted to uh, bang out this video just to introduce you to them uh, anybody that hasn't heard them um, VOB go get some follow them on everything I'm gonna link all of their stuff <laughs> down in the description go follow them follow what they're doing um, and more and more and more get your kids some instruments um, don't censor the language that they're using if they're pissed off about something let them sing about it um, this is the rock that that the world is going to need going forward I'm a big composer I compose rock songs because <laughs> uh, I'm not that pissed off anymore I'm a middle-aged white dude right I don't have a lot that I need to be you know complaining about but there's a lot <laughs> legitimately complaining about um, but this is the rock that the world needs and uh, I'd love to hear anybody else that's kind of in this in this generation in this modality drop your link below I want to check you out and we'll see you know we'll see where you're at because uh, uh, everybody needs to be heard right voices need to be heard bands need to be heard uh, so anyway that's it for today uh, check it out play it again go watch this video make sure you subscribe to all of their stuff make sure you subscribe to my stuff hit that bell button for uh, notifications coming up There's gonna be more stuff and we're gonna do some more things with these little darlings back here all three of these guitars that you can see uh, hanging on the wall here are all my own builds, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, this guy is getting a new paint job this summer. I haven't done anything with this guitar, but all right. So that's it for today. See you around.